Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would just like to thank you, Pastor, for giving me much encouragement for your word. And I'll be going back to college, going back to college this Saturday. And then I just want to, um, my testimony is that I log back into my banner account. And then we're trying to find fast, but, you know, just, you know, trying to pay off things for my tuition. And as I went back in my banner account, zero. Come on. Y'all ain't hearing that. Supernatural debt cancellation. All right. Amen. So I was in a car accident in April, oh. and my car was totally lost. I, that was my first accident ever. So I had to get a new car, and so they told me my first payment was going to be June 11th. Well, I never got a payment notice from the lender. Yeah. So um, I called them and said, hey, my payment's due. And they said, we don't have your name or account for you. That was June, oh. July. So I called the dealership back and said, hey, I hadn't got a payment and my tag is expired. The, the temporary tag, the whole time I've had the car, I never got stopped for the temporary tag and I ain't made a payment on the car yet. What? Come on. Well, we want to say, we, we, I left my job in May to sacrifice, to take a sacrifice to work with kids. I started working for kids in South Carolina doing kids camp. This camp I started working with, they gave me an award and a contract for a quarter of a million dollars for five years, working only six weeks. Now, when I did the camp, the first week we went in there, we had all these, uh, we had these counselors, the counselors came in there and they watched what I was doing. I walked outside the door and they were talking. So I said, you guys talking about me? They said, yeah, we just saying that a quarter of a million dollars wasn't enough. We're going to give you a million dollars a year. Say, you're next, you're next. Okay, why don't you tell yours again? <laughs> Come on. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Rashina. I just relocated from Buffalo, New York. Yeah. And that's one testimony because God brought me out the darkness, out the wilderness of the world. Amen. Unrighteous world I was living in. Yeah. I'm so grateful. Yes, amen. That's just all, one out of many. Come on. So thank you for having me. I'm enjoying this. We're glad you're here. Come on now. Somebody give God praise. All right. All right. All right. Man, I give honor to God. Um, I gave my testimony earlier, but um, my husband and I needed to repair our uh, two air conditioning units and our furnace unit. And if you've ever had to replace it, it costs a lot of money. So we had gone to this little, you know how you get the extra little insurance on your house? They turned us down. We went to our uh, regular homeowner's insurance. They turned us down. But somebody say, but the third time. Third time. We were persistent. And on the third time, the guy who answered the phone said, well, Mr. Middleton, I believe I can help you. And help us, they did. They sent us a check for $10,000. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> oh. I don't know why this church don't celebrate when God doing something good. Come on now. Yeah, this is another financial report. Um, we got a call from my, one of the companies that my wife used to work for, and they told her they had some money for us. So they told us they had $17,000. So my wife got the information, and when she called back, she said, no, Mrs. Ross, we don't have $17,000. We got over $28,000. Come on. <laughs> hey. Come on now. Back in April, Pastor was talking about faith and taking a step of faith and increasing your levels of faith. So I stepped out on faith and I purchased a car. The very next day, I got a call that income that I was expecting was no longer coming. Huh. Pastor started preaching about promotion and, and expecting your promotion even if you're not due for it. So I don't tell anyone I teach. Yeah. I don't tell no one I teach. Last week, he pulled everybody on stage. They put me dead center. I said, oh, <laughs> pa somebody, Pastor told everybody I teach. Well, the very first week of school, I got an email and I'm getting a promotion. Come on! Uh, an increase in my pay. I wasn't expecting it. So I just love you, Pastor. 
<laughs> yeah. Come on, tell us what God did. Put it up to her so we can hear. Go ahead. I have four heart surgeries. You have four heart surgeries. They touched my left vocal cord and paralyzed me. Yeah, uh-huh. My right one was doing all the work. Yeah. I went in and had to go back in uh -huh. and have my voice. Uh-huh. And they put an implant uh -huh. in my throat. Yeah. I'm not supposed to be here today, you all. Yeah. yeah. I had an aneurysm on my heart. You had an aneurysm on your heart. Centimeter away, you guys. Uh huh. Before it would have done whatever it do. Uh huh. I got in on time. Yeah. God is on time. Yes. 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 Come on, somebody. I said, come on, somebody. I know God will. Yeah. 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 Now we we thank God for Him preserving you. Now we're gonna believe God for Him to heal you. Stretch your hands towards our sister, Father, in the name of Jesus. You promised in your word that you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the Lord, our healer. And Lord God, even when the medical staff says no, you always say yes. So we declare a decree that with your stripes, she is totally healed. And we give you praise that it's already done. In Jesus' name, amen. You know, I hear the Lord say, give him a praise. Come on there, praise him. That's it? Yes? <laughs> Glory to God. All right. We got one more. Yes. Giving honor to the Spirit of God and to my pastor, T.J. McBride. Amen. I tell you I'm so excited because I was on my job in March, and I said I didn't want to be there anymore. And then they gave me a raise, some, some wonderful raise. And I said, no, God, it's not enough. Because my pastor said, increase. That was not increased. So I said, okay, I'm going to try to get this other one. Went on the first interview, one call, got hired three times as much as I'm I was making before. Uh, but it's not over. It's not over. I got one more. And so earlier this morning in the 8 o'clock service, a gentleman testified how he was so glad to be here. That was my fiance. So I just want to say that if you keep on living for the Lord, if you keep on staying in the race, and you keep on coming to church. You don't know who you're encouraging. Your families, your friends, keep on living for God. So I'm so grateful for this ministry. In Jesus' name, amen. Yeah, amen. I need everybody to give God praise for the testimonies. <laughs>